What started out as a few people making simplistic games for their own amusement has grown into one of the most dominant entertainment mediums of the 21st century. But for many critics, the question remains, are video games art? Game franchises like Mass Effect are convincing many people that the answer to that question is yes. Long gone are the days of 8-bit graphics and non-existent storylines. Instead, games like Mass Effect offer the player a universe filled with unique world designs and a sophisticated approach to interactive storytelling. All artists draw their influences from somewhere. And the biggest influence for the artists at Bioware was a guy from St. Paul, Minnesota, whose name you've probably never heard, Sid Mead. Who's that? Well, Sid Mead is an 81-year-old neo-futuristic concept artist who has worked on the design of a few things you might have heard of, like Tron, Blade Runner, Aliens, Star Trek The Motion Picture, and many, many more. And you don't have to take our word for it. According to the art director for the series, Derek Watts, the artist that influenced us the most is Sid Mead, the guy we bring up over and over again. This influence is visible in a number of places. For instance, the design of the Citadel's best club, Korra's Den, is modeled very closely after Sid Mead's concept art for Blade Runner. Furthermore, the concept art for the Earth Alliance building in Mass Effect 3 also looks very similar to Mead's work. Another example is the X-3M vehicles often seen in the Citadel. While flying cars have always been a staple of science fiction, the unique, elongated look recalls the designs of Sid Mead. The look of the Geth and Volus also seem to be derived in some ways by Mead's work. Just check out this piece of concept art, which honestly kind of makes me want a Geth Kart racing game. Many even believe that the design of the Mako was heavily influenced by Sid Mead's Mission to Mars artwork. The films that Sid Mead helped visually create also get quite a few references throughout the series. For instance, in Mass Effect 3, Joker references a famous line spoken by Ridley in Aliens, saying, you want to nuke it from orbit? It's the only way to... Ah, forget it. It's probably fine. Many fans have even speculated that Mass Effect 3's Rannoch Geth Fighter Squadron's computer-like world that Commander Shepard is uploaded into is a direct reference to the Tron series. From the Citadel and the lounges to the vehicle designs, the impact that Sid Mead's vision of the future has had on the Mass Effect franchise cannot be overstated. Derek Watts and the art team at Bioware set out to go in a completely different direction from their Knights of the Old Republic series and succeeded by drawing on Mead's long career. Watts explained it best by saying, Sid Mead has a signature style that is clean, futuristic, purposeful, and very different from Star Wars. His art suggested colorful and hopeful worlds with clean designs, not bleak settings. These were places you might want to go to, places you could imagine yourself being. It is this art style that has elevated Bioware to the next level, as Mass Effect was even included in a Smithsonian Museum of Art exhibit, one of the few games chosen to be showcased at the event. Like all art, video games build on the creations that came before them. Thanks to the futuristic designs of Sid Mead, Mass Effect was able to do just that. You thought you knew Mass Effect, but hopefully you learned just a thing or two more. Do you know any other historical or literary references we didn't cover here? Share them in the comment section below and we might include it in a future episode. If you like hidden history, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I'm Austin the Narrator and thank you for watching this episode of Hidden History. Be sure to check out ShoddyCast on Facebook and Twitter for upcoming news and event information. I will see you folks next week.